Well, you know that music with the solar eclipse approaching, local groups are working hard to prepare for the big day. 21 Alive reporter Meg Rossler joins us now with more from some of the experts. Hey, Meg. Amr, um, this solar eclipse is something that so many people are looking forward to, but for people who dedicate their lives to astrology, their excitement is off the charts. Everything in my life comes around to eclipses sooner or later. Laura and Neil Ainsley have a passion for astronomy. In my early years, there was always the talk of the moon landings. By the time I got into uh, junior high, my father got me my first uh, telescope. Now, as observatory directors for the Fort Wayne Astronomical Society, it's a treat for them to see others eager for an event they look forward to for years. It's exciting to see people being excited way before the actual event versus just reading it in the newspaper a couple days before. They explained that though Fort Wayne and surrounding areas are at a high percentage for viewing, the difference between a partial and full eclipse are staggering. Seeing a partial eclipse is kind of like watching white paint dry. Watching a total eclipse is, it's, it's something totally different. It's like paint jumped off the page and became human. But at their StarQuest Observatory in New Haven, they're still anticipating some incredible sights and will be open to the public on the day of the eclipse, April 8th. Ainsley says their professional grade telescopes and others will be available for viewing free of charge. Other uh, members are gonna bring their scopes as well. So people can kind of go from scope to scope to see what the eclipse is like. And if you have viewing plans, there are some ways to make sure the day runs smoothly. Getting here early, making sure you have snacks and water with you because you, it might take you a while to get here and it might take a while to get out of the, the Jefferson Township Park. And another big tip, make sure to carry some cash. Indiana Department Homeland Security is anticipating some issues with internet traffic, which could lead to things like credit card readers going down. Reporting in studio, Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News. Some good